What it do, man? It's your boy Battle Truth coming to you live and direct from the Battle Truth headquarters. Let's get right off into this, man. So yesterday, Caps was hosting a battle rap event on his platform by which Geechee Gotti was main eventing against a guy named D Money. When it came time for Geechee Gotti to battle, being that he lost the uh, uh, coin toss, um, Geechee first started out acting as though he was going to rap, only to reveal that he wasn't going to rap. Neither did he have anything prepared. Neither did he rap. And he basically swindled these people out of their money. He used the excuse and reason behind taking the people money because ADEP was on a platform who was battle rap's conspiracist Illuminatiist. And he began to call the guys who booked him some weirdos for even thinking he would rap for them for money. Some people began to say, if I was Gotti, I would have did the same thing. And yeah, that dude ate up this and that. So yeah, Gotti, you did the right thing. Like, hold on a second, man. Wait, where my damn gavel at? Here, take it. Take it. Bang the gavel on your damn self. Don't worry. I'll do it for you. No. No, 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 no. No. Man, get out of here with that trash, man. You always losing. Okay. Here's the here's the ignorance of people who don't know nothing that they saying and they doing and this is the stupidity and foolishness of why so many people is don't have sense at all. Let's make one thing clear. Geechee Gotti swindled the people out of three thousand dollars, twenty five hundred to three thousand dollars is what's being said. Not one dime of that money came from ADEP in no type of way. From what I'm hearing from the uh, people themselves, $1,000 was um, given to him by the guy he was battling against. The other $2,000, yo yo himself came up with, who's supposed to be affiliated with the riot in Geechee Gotti, because I have seen World Sport Battle League and Riot collaboration together what well, Gotti actually even did interview with these brothers so to try to use ADEP as a means to justify stealing and taking just because he probably ain't liked among some people in the battle rap community that's terrible because at the same time he do have a huge following so you can't think because some of y'all don't like him that Others don't like him because that's definitely not true neither and not a smart, listen, that's not a smart thing for you to do and to use because you lose that battle all day long, Geechee Gotti, no matter how you look at it. First of all, you stole. Stealing is stealing. No matter how you try to package it, justify it, and wrap it up. Ain't nothing real. Ain't nothing gangster about that. It's very cowardly because what it actually is, what it actually shows is that you don't have the respect and integrity that the battle rap community holds you to. You are the face of the battle rap community. You are the face of battle rap. You're coming off one of the biggest impactful uh, uh, things ever happened in battle rap history. Why would you attach yourself to something like this? You're supposed to operate better than that. And I would figure that you would because I thought you were smarter than that. You know better than that. Bro, why would you now have this attached to you? It's going to be mentioned to you in battles. Bro, this don't help you in no type of way. Let me tell you why. The riot is your battle rap league. When you're going up against people like this and you just started something like this, they're going to bootleg your events. Take thousands out of y'all pockets literally literally how do you win this situation you're going to get bad reviews mostly every time you rap that's going to begin to hurt your stock see here, here's the thing y'all don't get 
these affiliations that bloggers have, it's like a domino effect. Okay, I'm gonna give you an example. Do you remember when Easy the Black Captain was trying to uh uh uh, uh <laughs> when he was trying to come at me to some degree? And then you remember when Cola went on space and talking about it, he said, Hey, leave them dudes alone. It's like a flock of them dudes, it's like a domino effect. It's differently in, 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 in this blogging. They call us the dark web. That, that's what they call us, the dark web. We like the, the so-called dark side of battle rap blogging. This is what people say. As a means of us covering a lot of things that some media platform will not cover due to them being compromised. Like they won't really cover everything. Like, I'm going to give you an example. When they just did the top 10, they just did some fraudulent fake top 10 blogger list. But DNA Tooth wasn't on it. Even though when it comes to battle rap media, he's he's more he's more active in all that than anybody. Like, literally. Like, Hip Hop is Real and 15 Minutes of Fame going to cover that. But they won't cover this. DNA 2 going to cover that and this. You get what I'm saying? So he's considered part of the battle rap media darks web as a result of touching subjects and things personally that other battle rap platforms wouldn't touch. Now, I say that to say this. It becomes a domino effect as a result of relationships that these guys have with one another so it's like when you say that you're not just saying that to him you're saying that to them and them have thousands and thousands and thousands of followers and supporters literally literally that's why you really can't look you really can't get rid of ADEP when it comes to battle rap. He already arrived. He already here. He have a huge core following. They even took that dude channel down like four, five different times, and it's right back up with thousands of subscribers, like as though it never left. Like literally, like just like that. Because you can't get rid of his core fan base. You can't get rid of it. And then what happens is now when you say something like that. That don't help you in no type of way, brother. You, you you going to see how that really hurts you. That's going to hurt you, brother. I'm telling you this because that wasn't a smart decision to make and actually even say. First of all, again, it had nothing to do with ADEP. He didn't come out of his pocket for anything. So you took no money from him at all. You just used his name to justify stealing, hoping that it will give you a pass based upon you believing people don't like him or don't rock with him, which is terribly false, which is terribly false. Because that's not true. Even the people who tell you they don't rock with him or don't like him still watches him, literally. Just like a lot of people say they don't rock with DNA too, or don't rock with me, but literally know exactly who we are because they watches us. You got to be smarter than that, bro. You got to be smarter than us. This don't help you in no type of way. You was wrong. Because here's the thing. You had hundreds of people in the comments there to watch you you the main event those were your supporters in those comments you can't say nothing like that bro you took from your supporters you didn't take from nobody else you took from your supporters who now look at you in a bad way like bro that's that that was foul that was terrible and they were expecting to receive something from you and you sitting there cracking jokes like you just did something real like, ha, ha, y'all thought I was going to rap? Oh, y'all weirdos. Now you're disrespecting your own people because that's exactly what you're doing. You're disrespecting the people who look up to you in battle rap. You the face of battle rap. They paid you what you requested and asked for, which brings me back to this. They even said that you even asked for more money before you even came on, even though you knew you was going to steal from them. That's stealing, bro. You didn't take, you stole. 
that don't work out for you in no type of way. Let me show you something. First Corinthians chapter six, verse 10. Look at what this says. No thieves, nor the greedy, nor drunkards, nor slanderers, nor swindlers will inherit the kingdom of God. No thief, nor swindlers will inherit the kingdom of God. You see how that don't work for you, bro? You swindled and stole from them people, which means you are disqualified from the kingdom of God as a result of stealing and swindling, but rejecting Jesus Christ, who you claim is your Lord and Savior, and you confess to be a believer. I heard you say that. I heard you say that on a couple of occasions, that you believe in Jesus Christ and actually even confess to be a Christian. You said that before, even though I already know in your ignorance, you know nothing of the word of God to say such a thing at the same time claiming to be a crip. You can't worship the devil in God at the same time, because that's exactly what that is. The Bible says you cannot serve two masters. You either love one or hate the other. God don't give you no middle ground. You either for him or you not for him. There is no gray areas. You can't have one foot in and one foot out. You can't be a crip and a believer in God. You can't do that because you serve in two masters. You serve in the one who invented and came up with that game. And you think you can serve God too when they both require you two different things. And your heart is either going to be with one or the other, the more, which actually makes it goes against each other. No, brother, don't work like that. And I'm telling you this because I know you don't know this type of stuff. I'm telling you this because I do care about you. I'm telling you this because I know you don't get away with this stuff. You don't have to believe in the word of God. You don't even have to believe in God, but let you do anything that that word of God say don't do, you're going to get those consequences, not only in the afterlife, but you're going to get it in this life. The Bible say whatsoever measure you give, it comes back to you. So when you just throw that $2,500 to $3,000, you just put a financial curse over you. Let me show you what a how a financial curse works. You just stole something from the people. You laughing as though you got away with something. Things are going to start breaking down around you. You might get in a car accident. God forbid. I hope you don't, but I'm just telling you how this go. You might get in a car accident where you damage your car and you're going to have to come out of more than $3,000. You might end up having a bad business deal or something that's going to go through and you lose thousands off that. Like I said, your riot thing. Now you're going to start doing uh, uh, pay-per-view events. They might start... I ain't no might. They're going to start bootlegging your stuff. They're going to get their money back. At the same time, you still got a financial curse hanging over you. So they're going to start bootlegging your events, taking thousands of dollars out of your pocket. Then you got to see it could help. It could come in health reasons. You're getting sick and things. Like, bro, this stuff hurts you. Hurts you. The Bible say, oh, no man, nothing. Nothing. You better know them 10 commandments. What is the seventh commandment? Thou shall not steal. Thou shall not steal. Do not covet that which belongeth to your neighbor. That's the 10th commandment. They all almost like one and the same. I'm telling you what I know, bro. No, I have more respect for you than that, bro. You the face of battle rap. You can't do no trash like that. You got all these eyes on you after having one of the most groundbreaking moments ever in battle rap history. And then you do something like that. Like you said, I'm the champion of the year. I get thousands of dollars to rap. Right. And you just got thousands of dollars to rap on your phone as a result of what you said based upon what you requested. And they paid you what you requested. And you didn't do them people a service. You stole them people money. And you brought shame to your fans and supporters. And you let it be known you don't care about them neither, bro. You better than that. Why would you do that? You don't get away with no stuff like that. You don't get away with no stuff like that. 
and then you're trying to use a deaf name to justify it. You can't justify that. You can't justify that because it wasn't that man money. When a deaf them be throwing little battles on his card, a deaf don't come out his pocket like that. He have the fans and supporters donate the money, then pay the battle rappers uh, from the donation they get from the fans and supporters. That man ain't coming out of his pocket to pay. That man ain't going to come out of his pocket and pay no battle rappers, no thousands of dollars. I know that for a fact. <coughs> He's not going to do that. He is not going to do that. That man is not going to pay no battle rapper, no thousand dollars to battle. So I knew out the gate, you didn't steal from him. He's not going to do that. And it's not pay-per-view. Why would he? I didn't understand that anyway. Why would anybody pay Geechee Gotti $3,000 to rap on a YouTube platform. Do you know how many views that's going to have to do in order for you to get your money back to recoup that? Literally, do you know how much you're going to have to, how many views you're going to have to do to recoup that? You're going to have to do over 400 some thousand views to eat, to, to recoup that money back. And guess what? No, that wasn't going to happen on an angry fan channel. That was not going to happen on a dev channel or anything that was not going to happen. So why would you pay three thousand? I don't get that. Why would you pay him three thousand dollars and you couldn't recoup it back just for the footage to say, "Hey, uh, uh, I had Gotti up here." I mean, to each his own. If that's what you had to do and that's what you wanted for whatever reason it is, but that wasn't a smart business decision. If I'm gonna pay him three thousand dollars, I'm pay per viewing it or something, uh, or or putting it on a platform where it actually going to do what it's supposed to do. But no, no, not at all. That's terrible. You stole from them people money, man. You stole them people money, man. And then you said out of your mouth, you don't battle rap against nobody who ain't no real nigga. You sound crazy. You know how many people you battle who not real niggas? It's battle rap. You are hired service. Okay, you are work for hire. It don't matter where you do it at, as long as they pay your price. Whether you do it on the moon, whether you do it in another country, whether you do it on the phone, whether you do it on a laptop, whether you do it on a microphone, you are hired service. People book you based upon what you request for your service. And that's exactly what happened. And you didn't get a people back they service by which they booked you for. And that was terrible, and it was disrespectful to your fans also. And like I'm telling you, brother, I know you don't know this stuff, but I'm opening you up to the spiritual realm where it affects you. I Watch this. I guarantee you. Pay attention to this, Gotti, because look, this, this ain't no curse or nothing. I don't, I don't do that. I just open you up to what's true. Watch your financial situation from this point on of what just happened. You just took, what, $3,000? Date this date and watch financially what start happening to you. Watch how you start coming out of your pocket. Watch how things start, start to roll. Watch the phone calls you start to get. Bro, you don't understand how the devil works. This is what makes him so powerful because he know who God is. If he can keep us in sin, it gives him power over us. So when, so when that idea came up in your head to take them people money that came from him, he whispered that through your mind and influenced you to actually go through with it because it gave him power and access to you to work his evil against you, brother. And that's exactly what you just did. You allowed the enemy now to use his influence, not only to get you to take them people money, but to now give him access in your life to now mess up some things. And you don't want that, bro. The Bible say, give not the devil a place. You just gave him a place. Don't give him nothing. You better get rid of that stuff. Then you talk about having all this money and being all this. Man, get them people back their money and do their battle, man. Because I'm telling you that for your own good, not theirs. I'm telling you that for your own good. And this is what makes my platform different than a lot of people, man, because y'all don't get this type of stuff. Y'all don't understand these things because I do. I'm showing it to you. I'm giving it to you, bro. Listen, it don't matter what nobody say. You can't get around this. 
So you want to go to hell and you want to try God to see if this real for two twenty five hundred dollars? Come on, man. Come on, bro. Like, no. Like, hold on a second, man. Wait, where my damn gavel at? Here, take it. Take it. Bang the gavel on your damn self. Don't worry. I'll do it for you. No. No, 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 no. No. Man, get out of here with that trash, man. You always. Mm -mm. I, ain't, I don't like to owe nobody nothing. If I if I owe somebody something, I want to give it back immediately. If I'm taking too long to give it back, I'm going to let them know, like, look, I ain't forgot about you. I know I owe you. Be patient with me. Give me a little time. Or here's something on what I owe you. I know I owe you this much. I ain't got that much. But just so you know, I ain't forgot about you or trying to play you or, you know, taking your kindness for weakness. Here go a little something on what I owe you. That's the manly thing to do. That's the real thing to do. You can't steal from somebody and say, yeah, I took that. No, you didn't. Taking is stealing. Stealing is stealing, no matter how you look at it. You not going to get away with that, bro. That's going to hurt you in the long run. And I'm just going to keep it real with you. I'm disappointed in you because I didn't think you would do something like that. Bro, you better than that. You are the face of battle rap. That comes with a lot of responsibility. Why would you Why would you attack that to you like that? Now it's going to be used against you. Now you have opened up a floodgate where you're going to have a lot of people going against you. You're going to have a lot of people going against you. And listening to these idiots trying to gas you up to make you not reconsidering what you're doing, bro, man, that ain't nothing but the enemy talking through them people. Like they telling me Tony bro and them was justifying that. No, no. Listen, man. Listen to what I'm telling you, bro. I'm not going to tell you nothing wrong, little bro. I have a lot of love and respect for you. Bro, don't do that. I'm telling you, have respect for God. Forget what these people say. Have respect for God. Have respect for yourself. Have respect for yourself as a man, bro. That can't sit right with you in your heart and mind knowing what you just did like that, bro. That's grimy. That's thirsty. That's desperate. Especially if you up there talking all this real talk and you want the people to buy into that. You see how the people now turning on easy to block at them? Y'all always have these runs, but end up doing something real stupid that you didn't think about that end up hurting you in the long run, bro. You got to understand what's going on. Trust me, man. Look, you want active like on the internet like the like them dudes is man them dudes can put together some clips and things like that and have you looking crazy and the more and more they look they gonna go harder than you ever go it's gonna start wearing on the people it's gonna start wearing on the people wearing on the people and all it takes is a little bit to believe a little bit to believe a little bit then it comes to a lot next thing you know bro your whole stock going down but I'm telling you what I know, bro. You can't you can't win that. That wasn't right, man. That wasn't right. And for you to sit there and do that, brother, like that, mocking him, ridiculing him, you know what I'm saying? And that brother gave you a thousand dollars to rap against you, man. You get what I'm saying? And you sitting there ridiculing him, mocking the man, and doing that when you know, come on, man. You 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 wasn't ready. You needed any excuse, man. ADEP had nothing to do with that event. He ain't even on the card. It wasn't even on his platform. It wasn't even his money. That's what's stupid about people trying to go with the flow of that. It wasn't even his money. It wasn't even his platform. His name ain't even on the flyer. You wanted to use that because you wasn't prepared anyway. If ADEP wasn't on that, on that platform, you still didn't have nothing. You never even wrote. You never even wrote. Now, I understand sometimes you can be so busy, you you, you forget, and then you sidetrack, and next thing you know, like, oh, man, that's tomorrow. I yeah, I get that. But at least be real enough and man enough to admit that and say that. That's why you did, That's why you wanted him to rap first, so that you could freestyle your way through it, because you can freestyle and rebuttal and thing. And if, and if you at least got through at least one to two minutes of doing that, you get what I'm saying? It would have saved you face. But since it was on you to go first, 
you didn't have nothing to give because you didn't never come prepared anyway. So you stole anyway. Regardless to what, you stole, bro. You stole. And you don't want that, bro. I'm telling you, that stuff don't work, man. I'm telling you what I know. I'm telling you what I know. Y'all better, man, look, y'all better wise up. Y'all better open y'all eyes. That stuff fall back on you. Don't, that stuff fall back on you. It would affect you in your relationship. It would affect you in your business. It would affect you in your body. It would affect you in your finances. It would affect you in your family. Listen, when you do things like that, you can't pick the punishment. That's what's dangerous about these type of situations. You don't get to pick the punishment. You don't. You don't pick the punishment. When you choose and allow these things to happen and you participate in it, you don't get to pick the punishment. You don't get to pick the consequences. That's out of your hands now. But you can bet it's coming. That's why you need to get back that money, repent, and start taking God more serious. Have respect for your fellow brethren, man. I'm just keeping it 100 and real. You didn't steal from ADEP. You didn't take nothing from ADEP because it was never his. It was never his. Even, and you know that. You're using that as an excuse. Crazy thing about it is you saying, yeah, this brother, you think I'm going to rap on this platform? You got the Illuminati guy up there who think we all a part of the Illuminati, but then you call yourself God Illuminati. <laughs> like, like, bro, if anything, you confirm what he speak about when you do things like that and call yourself that. Not only that, let's just be honest. A lot of these things that they do, it has been proven to be true. Avocado definitely on record admitting that he literally, and, and, and this crazy against you, Avocado, the guy you uphold and say you respect and honor who you call your guy, not only was he accused of doing some things, uh, 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 slandering black people as being racist and admitting, I mean, slandering black people and being a racist guy and actually admitting to it. He actually admitted to it. Not only did he do all that, the man actually said he personally put satanic messages in y'all videos when he doing y'all videos and y'all don't even know about it. He said that. So when ADEP exposes those type of things and he put up the proof of it, that'd be true. Now, I get sometimes he might be extreme to the point where he may say some people do it who probably don't do it because I don't believe everybody do it. But I do know that a lot of them do it because they on record saying it. They literally on record saying they practice voodoo. They literally on record saying that they pray to Satan. They literally on record saying this stuff. So the man ain't far-fetched on what he's saying when he got proof of y'all saying it. When he got proof of y'all saying it and doing it. Now, again, I don't believe everybody in battle rap doing it. But for the most part, he be backing up his facts with them saying it out of their own mouth and showing videos and clips of them throwing up signs and imagery and doing the things that's actually attached to Satanism and Illuminati. That's a fact. That's a fact. Okay? And that's why it's, it's all not far-fetched. Okay? But it is what it is, bro. Like, that's not good, though, man. That's not good at all. Um... That wasn't good. You don't get away with that, bro. I, I, come on, man. We not jacking that. We not jacking that. I can't, bro. You better than that. You the face of battle rap, Geechee. Okay, you the face of battle rap, and your 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 slate ain't clean neither, bro. You have said a lot of dishonest, foul things to people. Literally, you said a lot of dishonest, foul things to people, and you was wrong about a lot of things. Okay, matter of fact, I'm gonna give y'all an example of what I mean. He said this clip about me. This what Geechee Gotti said this clip about me on, in the Battle of Calico. I'll knock you out, then stop you out till you snag a tooth. Pull out the gun, raise you up, just to pop one in you like battle truth. Yeah. A lot of people don't know what that means. He said, I raise you up, then pop one in you like battle truth. He was talking about uh, me so-called getting my biological daughter pregnant. That's what he meant in that in, in that thing. I raise you up, then pop one in you like battle truth. And none of that was true. It wasn't my biological daughter. 
She wasn't pregnant and I didn't raise her and I didn't raise her. But he said that in the audience full of thousands of people with his influence of what he have. You know what I'm saying? He said that and it wasn't true. Okay, look, that's what I mean. Look, it wasn't true. What did this say? Look what this say. The alleged father is included. This, 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 the DNA papers are. These are my real numbers. These are her real numbers. Look what it said. The alleged father is included as the biological father of the tested child, even though this is a grown woman. But it's just saying that because it's talking about parents and children. It said this conclusion is based on the non matching uh, alias observed. At the Loki listed above with a PI equal to zero, the alleged father lacks the genetic markers that must be contributed to the child father by the biological father. The probability of paternity is zero. Zero. But he put that out there though it was real, right? And it wasn't even real. Look. Then I show, look, watch this. Here's the mother. I was fucking too many people to even know who her daddy is. Uh -oh. So with that being said, you're not the daddy. Right. I go to mama speaking. I was effing too many people to even know what was going on. Showing you her lifestyle of all the guys she was actually tricking, lying to, and doing. That's what that means. When you hear that, when you hear, when you hear this, come on, man, we ain't gonna play these games. Listen, when you hear, when you hear that, that's showing you a lifestyle. That's what that is showing you. That is showing you a lifestyle of what was going on in her life when she said this. When she is saying this, she is telling you her lifestyle. You don't have nobody mentioning and saying nothing like this. I was fucking too many people to even know who her daddy is. Uh -oh. So with that being said, you're not the daddy. Right. You know what I mean? When a person telling you something like that, that is a lifestyle. When a woman says, I was effing, look, if a woman say I was fucking too many people, do you know what that means? That means too many for her to count. So imagine all the scandals, all the lying, all the setting up that went into that to even know what was going on. Great thing about it, people act like I didn't know. People act like I didn't know. But he said that using his influence. And even when the truth came out, he never corrected it. He never corrected it. He never said, oh, I was wrong about that. He left it out there so that people can still leave room to believe it when it was actually a lie. Like so many of them do. But that's why God continued to bless me. That's why I continue to stay afloat because of being genuine like that. But they do that type of stuff. They do that type of stuff and lie about everything. But he said that. With an audience full of thousands. And look, and that's why I liked it. I liked it when Rio, watch this. See, some people, some people more genuine than others. That's why I like when Rio said this. And it's true. At first I was a fan, but now I'm angry. And you've been up here doing all that cap. Y'all niggas crucified battle truth. Even when he provided proof, y'all said he was lying. Norb's casting couch like Harvey Weinstein, but he didn't try to deny. See what I'm saying? That's why I respect people like Rio, who actually saw all the facts, all the proof, like, hold on. DNA paperwork proving that that's false. There was never a baby involved. This is actually a grown woman. There is her mother right there, and there is her right there, all saying that it's a lie, it's not true, that didn't happen, and yet... Why people still saying it? Go back to the hate. You're trying to throw on ADEP like, well, if I say that I ain't going up there because of ADEP, and then I use 
how a lot of people may not like him uh, 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 to justify stealing the money, then I ain't got to be really accountable to what I do. See what I'm saying? If I could say this about battle truth, even though people may not like him, I could get away with it. No, you don't get away with it. You don't get away with it. Because God know the truth. And this, see, see, here's another thing. I'm, 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 I'm going to end this with this. Here's another thing. God speak through the heavens. Earth sits in the heavens. The heavens govern the earth. So when God speak through the heavens, it penetrates the earth. His word is established through the heavens that the earth sits in, which means when he say, don't do it, whether you believe it or not, whether you read it or not, whether you heard it or not, the heavens is activated on his word by which he created all things. Remember, that's what makes the devil powerful. He knows this. So in your ignorance, he used what he knows against you to give him power and access over your life. That's why the Bible say, my people perish for their lack of knowledge. You heard the saying, what I don't know won't hurt me. That's a lie. God say, what you don't know gonna kill you. Study to show yourself approved. Jesus said, you should know the truth and the truth will set you free. The knowing of the truth that you may operate in the truth to be impactful. Again, that's what makes my platform different than any other platforms. You don't get this type of truth. These are life changing and saving facts. And even if you don't listen to a Gotti, and even if you don't believe in a Gotti, the thousands of people that are going to watch this blog, somebody going to listen to this. Incorrect what they may be guilty of, that you guilty of that they may operate in truth and be spared from the financial curse that's probably over their life as a result of stealing and taking. So it's not just for you. It's for anybody that's listening that this may pertain to. But I tell you this, little brother, because I do have respect for you. I do have love for you. And I forgive you for the things you said about me that wasn't true, that you may have helped tarnish or even hurt my image and reputation, that you still wasn't man enough to apologize and admit to when you said what you said that was wrong about me. I'll knock you out, then stop you out till you snag a tooth. Pull out the gun, raise you up, just to pop one in you like battle truth. Yeah, 